Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In one of my previous videos, I've shown you how you can build a hotel reviewer inside of Google AI Studio using the Gemini Pro model. So in that video, we passed a review to the model and we asked it to classify whether it is positive and negative. Additionally, we told it to divide the positive and negative points of the review. In that video, I'd mentioned that we will be taking this video We'll be taking this particular project to another level by combining Google Apps Script and the Gemini Pro API. So in this video, um, we'll be doing something similar where um, I had talked about this workflow that we had designed last time that talks about um, how a user fills up the Google form. The Google form um, sends the responses to the Google Sheets where the API then sends, view, you send a call using Google Apps Script and uh, it classifies the reviews. And in the end, it gives you back a response. So that's what we're going to be trying to achieve through this YouTube tutorial. So here you can see instead of my Google AI studio, this is what we had done last time. So if you haven't watched this video, I would recommend you to check out the link in the description and I, I hope that helps you out. So we gave it a review. We gave the review here and we gave it a prompt. So now that we talked about Google AI studio, as I'd mentioned in my previous co videos, Google AI Studio is a platform where you can test your prompts before you can send them out for production. That means you can test your prompts and you can test and tweak them, check the temperature, do some uh, do some testing here and there. And once they're ready, you can transform them into apps for production. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I have set up my Google form here that says hotel feedback form. Enter your name, give the hotel a rating. And this is the most important part of the form where the user is going to be describing their experience. Once again, I have a particular Google Doc that contains all of the reviews that I'm going to be using for this video. You have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You have 8 reviews that we can test upon and see how it works out. So um, I'm going to be going to my Google form. I'm going to click on link to sheets, which is going to be creating a new Google sheet that will be connected to the form. So all the responses from will be going from the Google form to the Google sheet. And um, once I'm here, we'll go to our extensions and open up our Apps Script editor, where we'll be writing our Google Apps Script code to get the tasks done. Now, while that starts up, let's just see how we can get the API key. So once again, we'll go to a new tab and just type in here, make a suite. And um, once I go here, I'm going to be going to the get API key section here that is available for all of you too. So here I already have it created. So I'm going to be using this particular API key. But if you want to create a new one, you can create it in a new project or create an API key in an existing project. And um, if you want the API quick start guide, you always have the documentation that is done by Google, which is beautifully done. You can check out the Gemini API. You can look at all the other languages that it supports and even the rest API, which is what we, we are going to be currently working on. So um, now that my Google Apps Script Editor is up, I'm just going to go here and change this to gaps underscore Gemini. So once we have that out of the way, I'm going to be opening up a new function here called on, on form submit. And inside this, I'm going to be passing an event variable. So what I plan to do is I always have been towards the automation side. I don't want any manual tasks within the way. So we're going to be creating a trigger. Now, what is a trigger? Now, the trigger is going to be actually working when a user fills the Google form. That's when I want to run the code. I have created a specific video about triggers in Google Apps Script. I'll be leaving that link also in the description. You can check that out. So while we are at it, this is the trigger. So whenever I um, will go back to the workflow. So whenever I send a Google form submission, instantly um, a trigger is run and the code is run. It sends it sends a call to the API with the prompt and it gets back the response to the Google sheet. So that's what we plan to do. I'm going to go back here. And now that we have the function out, I'm going to be creating a new variable called review text, right? And um, what I want to do is e dot named values. So what I want to do is I want to fetch this from the Google sheet, right? And this is the only uh, column of data that I want to fetch from my Google sheet, right? So because these da this data is not is irrelevant for me right now because I want my main focus is going to be on the review that the user is going to be typing. So I want to fetch that. So I'm going to be copying the column name here. I'm going to open the quotes. I'm going to paste this here. So it's going to be fetching the value for that. After that, I'm going to be declaring my API key here. And um, of course, I'm going to be deleting the API key as soon as this video ends or else I'll be charged with a big bill of API calls. 
now that we have the API key sorted, I'm going to be going towards uh, declaring the API URL. So now you will see when I put in the API URL, it is going to be a little different than what we used to do previously. Previously, we used to interact with the Palm API when the when it had come out, but now we have the Gemini Pro model, which is a far more powerful model than Palm. So I have pasted the URL that we want to send a request to. And after that, I'm going to be creating a new variable called the final URL where I want the API URL plus the default things that we do when we put a API call. And once I'm done with that, uh, we're going to be going ahead and adding the API key here. And after this, I'm going to be declaring my headers here. And um, inside this, I'm going to be opening up my curly braces. And I have to specify the content type, which is always going to be JSON. That's what we basically do. So content type, I'm going to be opening up here and I'm going to be writing application slash JSON. And I'm going to close this up here. I'm going to add a semicolon here. And uh, now we're going to be doing the most important task of this code that's going to be designing the request body. Now with all the new, new changes that were made with the API, um, the way we design the request body that we have to send in the API is quite different than normal. So what I'm going to be doing is I have already designed it here. So I'm just going to copy that up here. I'm going to just remove this from here and I'm going to paste the request body here. So according to the new API documentation that I had gone through before uh, or maybe while I was preparing for the video, it's going to be request body. Then you have the contents, you have the paths, then you have the text inside. That's going to be the review text. So this is the variable that I want. And this is the exact same prompt that we use from Google AI studio. I have put it inside of this here inside the prompt here and I've added the review text here on doing that. Um, we're going to be having the same protocols that we do for every API. That's going to be variable options. And inside this, we're going to be doing method. And inside of the method, I want it to be post. And then I want headers. And here I'm going to be specifying the headers variable. Payload. JSON. Dot stringify. Inside of this, the request body. And uh, once we are done with that, we have the last one that's going to be variable response. So var response, I'm going to be having the URL fetch app for this. And I'm going to be doing a fetch. And inside this, once again, we'll pass our URL comma options. And once we have that, once we get back a response, I wanted to pass it. So I'm going to be doing JSON dot parse. And we're going to be doing response dot get content text. Oops, close the bracket here. And once we have that, I'm going to be getting the output. I would want like, so whenever you look at Google Bard also, it gives you multiple drafts. But um, in this case, we want the first one that we get back. So I'm going to do data dot candidates. And once again, this is also going to be a little more different than what we had in our um, Palm API tutorials. It's going to be content dot parts. I'm going to open up here and another one. And then we have the dot text. So this is how we basically get the answer from there. And then I just do a logger dot log output here and our code is complete. But before that, um, as we had discussed, we want this to be fully automated and I don't want any uh, manual tasks between this. So I'm going to be going to my triggers and I'm going to be creating a new trigger here. I'm going to be clicking on add trigger. I'm going to be selecting the on form submit, choose which deployment should run the head from event search. I want it from the Google spreadsheet. And the event type is going to be on form submit. So whenever a user submits a form, I want this code to go to the Google sheet, fetch the latest response that has come, get the review, send it to the API, get back a response and log it out for me. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And you will have to give some permissions for the trigger. So I'm just going to go click on advanced, slow scroll down, go to the project. And it's going to be telling you edit your spreadsheets, connect to an external service. That's going to be the API. I'm going to click on allow. And um, in a few seconds, you have your trigger set up and your code will be ready and good to go. Here the, tri tr the trigger is created. Let's go back to our editor. And I think we have everything ready and good to go. So if we look over the 
Workflow again is going to be the same. We start, we fill a form submission, it goes to the Google Sheet, a request is sent, we get back a response with the classification. So let's just go to our Google form here and I'm going to create a new entry in the form. I'm going to enter my name, Aryan Irani. I'm going to go give it a three star rating and I'll select a review from here. Um, let's take this one. I'm going to go to my Google form. I'm going to go here, paste this here. Clear this. And maybe just remove this line. I'm going to go ahead and click on submit. Now, if our code works well, we're going to go to our executions and we're going to be checking whether the code has worked or not. And here you can see it has successfully classified the things that the review or the customer liked or disliked. It said it is a fun, lovely hotel, the menu at the lockbox restaurant. So this is how basically we have converted a random idea that I had got on a day while I was working with a client and I took that to the Google AI studio where I tested it up and later I made an entire workflow out of this using the Gemini API. So this is where we come to an end for this particular tutorial. I'll be leaving the code link, the Google sheet link and the Google form link in the description. You can check that out. Um, if you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.